senior maverick at Wired Magazine, but in 93 he co-founded Wired Magazine and served as an executive editor. Uh, he just finished a book called What Technology Wants. He's the editor and publisher of Cool Tools website. And this is where this gets really cool. Former publisher and editor of Whole World Review, and then co-founded the Hackers Conference, and then of course helped create the Whole Earth Electronic Link, also known as well. So, I mean, did anybody ever use the well back in the day? Just a few. Yeah. So, I mean, this, this goes way, way, way back. And it is, uh, it's an honor to have you speak with us today. So, thank you very much. Everybody, welcome uh, Kevin Kelly. The explorer is a person who is lost. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Just because you're on their side doesn't mean they're on your side. Life, mind, the universe are three paradoxes that quote themselves. You can't solve a problem on the level at which it was created. Science may be described as the art of systematic oversimplification. They laughed at Columbus, they laughed at Fulton, they laughed at the Wright brothers, but they also laughed at Bozo the Clown. Reality is that which, when you stop believing it, doesn't go away. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. I don't necessarily agree with everything I say. Man plans, God laughs, and the truth will make you laugh. The true object of all human life is play. Fun is better than winning. Opportunity is missed by most people because it's dressed in overalls and looks like work. To quarrel with technology is to quarrel with the nature of man. We're not human beings trying to be spiritual. We are spiritual beings trying to be human. Invention is often the mother of the unforeseen. Specialization is for insects. The future influences the present just as much as the past. The future is the only thing we can improve. Open criticism is the only known antidote to error. Things are more like they are now than they have ever been. The past is but the beginning of a beginning. The universe has invented a way to know itself. I used to think that the brain was the most wonderful organ in my body. Then I realized who was telling me this. Research is what I'm doing when I don't know what I'm doing. There could be no atheism if you knew about synergy. It is no surprise that the unexpected must be expected. Eternity is very long, especially towards the end. Civilization advances by extending the number of important operations which we can perform without thinking of them. Computers are useless. They only give you answers. Anything worth doing cannot be accomplished in one lifetime. A long time ago, today was the future. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. Man is a genius when he is dreaming. You can't depend on your eyes when your imagination is out of focus. The future of the future is the present. We argue with our biology, and the result of that argument is civilization. All truths begin as blasphemies. Art is in the omission, the hidden line, the word not uttered, the pause in the music, the frame cut, the step not taken. Art is what you leave out. We have to believe in free will. We've got no choice. One can resist the invasion of armies. One cannot resist the invasion of ideas. New ideas must use old buildings. 
Life must be understood backwards, but it must be lived forward. The universe knew we were coming. I want to be a machine. The way to do is to be. We are here to go. We trust in nature, but we hope in technology. Tomorrow is our permanent address. Any work of art which is not a mere beginning is of little worth. We are prisoners of our own metaphors, metaphorically speaking. Never assume malice when incompetence will suffice. You mean my whole fallacy is wrong? An invention should make simple things easy and hard things possible. For every expert, there's an equal and opposite expert. Never let yesterday take up too much of today. Anything can happen once. Don't confuse a clear view of the future with a short distance. A billion stars tell us we are nothing, but with our art, we prove them wrong. Every true genius is bound to be naive. Technology is anything that was invented after you were born. The empires of the future are the empires of the mind. If, not, if I paint objects as I think them, not as I see them, when you are through changing, you are through. Fiction reveals truth that reality obscures. Tell me to what you pay attention and I will tell you who you are. I'm not that smart, it's just that I stay with problems longer. Begin with the assumption that any commonly held belief is wrong. When I was born, I was so surprised I didn't talk for a year and a half. <laughs> the distance between insanity and genius is only measured by success. Painting is easy when you don't know how, but very difficult when you do. We are as gods and might as well get good at it. Of all lies, art is the least untrue. Life imitates art far more than art imitates life. It's odd that so little of what might happen does happen. Size is the enemy of growth. The, real dividing, the, the, the line dividing the real and the imaginary is more imaginary than real. There are no wrong notes on the piano, just better choices. The most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it's comprehensible. Space isn't remote at all. It's only an hour's drive away if, you could, if your car could go straight up. I became interested in the future because an invention needs to make sense in the world in which it was finished, not the world in which it was started. The present is pregnant with the future. There are two types of forecasts, lucky or wrong. Any theory that can account for all the facts is wrong because most of the facts are wrong. My interest in the future is because I'm going to spend my rest of my life in there. The beginning is the most important part of the work. I couldn't wait for success, so I went ahead without it. I'm looking for a lot of men who have an infinite capacity to not know what can't be done. The future always arrives too fast and in the wrong order. Faith sees the invisible, believes the incredible, and receives the impossible. The future belongs to those who give the next generation reason to hope. Everything that rises must converge. If I'd asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. A process cannot be studied by stopping it. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. When you're green, you grow. When you're ripe, you rot. The arts are the science of enjoying life. Sometimes interesting opportunities arrive dressed as a huge pain in the ass. The opposite of play is death. In mathematics, you don't understand things. You just get used to them. If you're not prepared to be wrong, you'll never come up with anything original. Intelligence is the capacity to acquire capacity. Science fiction is not what if, it's my God what if. The universe is the smallest possible place which contain all possibilities. 
I preferred, most of all, to remember the future. Every word was once a poem. A gift unshared becomes a burden. In jazz, when you make a mistake, play it twice. The chief cause of problems is solutions. Religion is a culture of faith, science a culture of doubt. There must be more to life than having everything. Weekends don't count unless you spend them doing something completely pointless. Life is a near-death experience. It's not what, that we need new ideas, but we need to stop having old ideas. You must be the change you want to see in the world. It is well to remember that the entire universe, with one trifling exception, is composed of others. The difference between intelligence and education is this. Intelligence will make you a good living. The greatest riddle of cosmology may well be that the universe is, in a, in a sense, very creative. When it's all over, I want to say, all my life, I have been a bride to amazement. Prediction is very difficult, especially of the future. I don't try to describe the future, I try to prevent it. You cannot plan the future by the past. In today already walks tomorrow. If our future were not hidden from us, life would be unbearable. There's nothing except permanent change. I criticize by creation there are some ideas so wrong that only a very intelligent person could believe in them. The fates guide the willing, the unwilling they drag. It is better to be wrong than vague. The reformer is always right about what is wrong. He's generally wrong about what is right. When I pronounce the word future, the first syllable already belongs to the past. People who say it cannot be done should not interrupt interrupt those who are doing it. Keep making new mistakes. Failure is probably what you fear most, but failure is where you will get your best material. Never, white, no, excuse me, never waste a crisis. You are only as young as the last time you changed your mind. Every person contains the universe looking at itself in a different way. I, always, I am always trying to do that which I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. Don't fight forces, use them. We know what we are, but we do not know what we may become. Every day I wonder how many things I am dead wrong about. The worst mistake anyone can make is to be too afraid to make one. Begin doing what you want to do now. We have only this moment sparkling like a star in our hand. Hospitality meets its greatest test when the new idea drops by uninvited. When you are through changing, you are through. We begin to see the present only when it has disappeared. The most intense moments the universe has ever known are the next 15 seconds. What you're looking for is who is looking. The task of science is to turn deep truths into trivialities. To see things in the seed, that is genius. The more original a discovery, the more obvious it seems afterwards. Strategy is what you choose not to do. Wake up to discover that you are the eyes of the world. The only difference between a madman and me is I am not mad. All my best thoughts were stolen by the ancients. We don't know a millionth of one percent about anything. Remember, we're all in this alone. To idle requires a strong sense of personal identity. Everywhere I go, I find a poet has been there before me. The star, the, the universe has invented a way to know itself. Youth is an illusion because every cell in our bodies has been forged from the ashes of dying stars. 
I am the I which the universe beholds itself. Supposing is good, but finding out is better. The self is more distant than any star. Every person takes the limit of their own field of vision for the limits of the world. Embrace the alien within. I don't explain, I explore. Predicting the future is easy. It's trying to figure out what's going on now that's hard. I jump off the cliff and build my wings on the way down. If you build it, they will come. In every idea, a multitude of new ideas is lying dormant. Some people will never learn anything for this reason because they understand everything too soon. Nothing succeeds like excess. Grow or die. <clears throat> this future has arrived, it just isn't equally distributed. 80% of success is showing up. I am at two with nature. If space is the final frontier, time is the final commodity. Institutions are halfway houses for the temporarily uninspired. I've been through some terrible things in my life, some of which actually happened. I have devoted my life to poeting and painting. What is best in music is not found in the notes. Everything, in, everything ends in change. When you ask for an adventure, there will be detours. If you think you are free, there is no escape possible. We can't leave the haphazard to chance. I shut my eyes in order to see. A physicist is an atom's way of knowing about atoms. If you wish to live, you must first attend your own funeral. The obvious is that which is never seen until someone expresses it simply. When I came home, I expected a surprise, and there was no surprise for me, so of course I was surprised. The time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes. Art is knowing which ones to keep. Great art picks up where nature ends. I don't paint things. I only paint the difference between things. I like to pretend that my art has nothing to do with me. The principle of true art is not to portray but to evoke. The task of art today is to bring chaos into order. The waking mind is the least serviceable in the arts. We have art in order not to die of truth. A painting that is well composed is only half finished. Every true genius is bound to be naive. Man is the most intelligent of animals and the most silly. Small minds are amazed by the extraordinary. Great minds are amazed by the ordinary. Always side with truth. It is much bigger than you are. Man is a genius when he is dreaming. To oppose something is to maintain it. Nothing is funnier than unhappiness. There is moderation even in excess. When I grow up, I want to be a little boy. Man can believe the impossible, but never believe the improbable. A useful statement about the future should at first seem ridiculous. Most people of a satisfactory future is, in fact, a return to the idealized past. I never think of the future. It comes soon enough. What has not happened yet will happen. Without expectations, there's no future, only an endless present. When I am working on a problem, I never think about beauty. I only think about how to solve the problem. But when I have finished, if the, if the solution is not beautiful, I know it is wrong. The test of a first-rate intelligence is to hold two opposed ideas in the mind at the same time 
and still retain the ability to function. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then, then you win. Science is a method to keep yourself from kidding yourself. The difference is that secrets are never needed in security. It's just that they are never desirable. Does the future still have a future? What we really want is for things to remain the same but never get better. When a dog runs at you, whistle for him. First, I dream my painting. Then I paint my dream. We are never prepared for what we expect. Don't believe everything you think. Are we being good ancestors? I imagine that yes is the only living thing. Thank you. <laughs> Questions? <laughs> I have answers. Wow. Uh, just in case it wasn't obvious, I didn't write any of that. No, no, no pictures were mine. Everything was stolen. So, <laughs> yeah. Perhaps we're, we're now seeing a struggle between the authentic or the sincere and uh -huh. the personal creation and then the remixing or the mashup and the aggregation. Of yeah. Them. And you chose a particular format today. Maybe you can talk about uh, that choice. Right. In case people didn't hear the question, it was just, you know, we're kind of. We've gone from authentic and sincere to, to mashups and appropriation, and I chose an appropriated vehicle for this. Do I want to talk about why I, I did that? Um, I wasn't very conscious of, of it. I, I think um, I was sharing something that I found interesting. It was like a common book. It was like a scrapbook of things that I've been collecting. And um, I think the act of me presenting it made it into something more than what it was even to me. Um, so I don't actually attribute a, a, a very much to this, to my creative act. Um, it was random. The, 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 the order of the proverbs were random. This is, these were just about random. So I can't, I can't actually uh, claim any, any, any credit in this at all. But I think the appropriation has, of course, always been done. I mean, there's kind of a myth that there's appropriation is this sort of modern thing, but in fact, fairy tales and, and everything before that were, were, were basically always appropriated and remodeled and, and reinterpreted and added on. And actually, there's only, I think, in, in the history of our own art, there was only, the, the period in which that was at a minimum was actually more of the anomaly than, than now. I, I think appropriation is the norm. And... Um, I think it was just a kind of a weird period in the middle where we thought that, that where people claimed to, to, to basically doing things completely originally. So um, I, I, I think that is, I think, I think that is the norm. And, and part of that has also come from, I think, a, a misguided intellectual property regime that we have right now, where, where true, real appropriation is actually incredibly discouraged by, by laws. I mean, I really believe that we should be able to, right now, um, make Mickey Mouse stories. And we should be able to do whatever we want with Mickey Mouse because it is, it's, like, it's like the equivalent of Sleeping Beauty and, and other canonical uh, icon characters. Why can't we? It's in our culture. We grow, with them, grow up with them as kids. They're f kind of like we've, we've, uh, they're part of our memory, our cultural memory. We should be able to do things with it by now. And I, and I think that... Um, Maybe in the goodness of time we'll understand that. And even Disney might realize that the only time they ever made money was, was when they were appropriating uh, other people's work. Uh, you know, think about all the great Disney movies in the great, the great period. This is when they were, they were stealing, basically, um, or using the, the old stuff. And, then, and they're now responsible for people preventing them using their new stuff. And then they declined because they, they, they cut off the flow of appropriation. Any other questions? Yeah. How do you think about innovating the re replicating? How do I think about innovating versus replicating? Yes, yeah, so a lot of people just replicating what yeah. they do, what they trend, and innovating their own trend. Yeah. 
you know, I, I think replication is, 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 a, is, is a, uh, something we often have to do um, at different periods. Um, there's no better way, I think, to learn how to do something than to replicate it first and then go on from that. And I think that's just, I think replication is part of innovation. I, I don't think we can reinvent the wheel from the beginning up. I think we have to actually learn to, I think copying and appropriating and taking what's known to, to work is part of the innovation process. I think the, the myth that you're kind of going to start and make something completely new that's never been made before is not only probably impossible, but also not very useful. So, um, and, and you know, th there are other aspects of this. There's individual copying, then there's kind of cultural copying like they're doing in China right now and places where they have a copy culture. Well, the US was a copy culture for the first couple hundred years. All the, all the writers and the people like Dickens in, the, in England were completely furious by the pirates in the US because they were just, they were just blazingly just reproduce things. And um, I think students learning how to paint often will copy the masters. I think this, this is far more prevalent, far more useful than we think. And um, I, I'm, I'm not so, I, I think it's, it's, it's a necessary part of, 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 the, of the culture is to have the, the copying and the, and the replication. But of course you want to do something new, but it's, it's usually the most useful thing is actually not a huge revolutionary jump, but actually a, a, in, incremental, I mean not incremental, but it's the minimum jump that you would need for a maximum change. It's, 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 if you go too far out, it's not useful to people. Yeah, in the back. Yep, you have your hand. Yeah. For the past what? Well, I'm involved with a group called the Long Now Foundation, and we're building a um, a 10,000 year clock. Um, and actually, we're just I think it's been made public, but um, it's a clock that's inside a mountain that's going to tick for 10,000 years. It's kind of complicated how it works, but it's actually being powered by the changes in the temperature day and night at the top of this mountain. It's in West Texas. It's actually being funded by Jeff Bezos of Amazon. And um, the clock will continue ticking inside and, and the bells will ring. The chimes that were made by Brian Eno not to repeat. There's melodies that won't repeat for 10,000 years. And so this clock is ticking and chiming inside this mountain. It's telling the time, it knows the time, but in order to display the time, it needs visitors to go visit the clock and actually wind up the face to bring it up to the current time. And, and the face will stay there until the next, uh, the old time will stay there until the next person comes along. That's because the energy to show the, the time is more energy than, than to keep the time. And it's keeping time, and it's, a, it's basically it's a huge computer. It's, a, it's, 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 a, it's a calculating the, the, the um, time. So it's in the mountain for 10,000 years telling time. Why? Well, because um, we are trying, we, this group who are building it, are trying to encourage people to think in terms of generations, to think in terms of, of um, not just the next quarter, not just the next five minutes, not just next year, but to actually think about a civilization scale um, enterprises and, and things that work at, at the level of a global planet. And that requires a different sense of time than just what am I going to do tomorrow? What am I going to have for lunch? And I think that, um, th that requires a, kind of getting out of yourself a little bit and, 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 and thinking uh, uh, as part of something bigger. And so I'm, I'm very interested in, in taking that kind of a, a more transcendental attitude towards time, um, particularly because things move so fast. We're going so fast. The velocity, the velocity is so fast that we really do have to pay attention to what's right ahead. I'm not saying that we have to ignore what's going on right now and what's on Twitter. I'm just saying that we also have to have a, a, a more distant vision of where we want to go. So right now, every time a new technology comes along, whether it's robotics or AI or social media or genetic technology, it's actually nibbling at our own idea of what humans are. I mean, we used to think humans were, did this and did that. They're not going to do this and that. And I, I, within, maybe not within, maybe some of the younger people here within your lifetime, th there are going to be highways in California where you will be prohibited from driving the car yourself. You have to turn it over to the, to the autopilot car because it's safer to have robots drive cars on highways. Your children 
will marvel that, 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 that people were allowed to drive cars 70 miles an hour on a highway because it's totally, totally dangerous. We kill worldwide a million people a year die from auto accidents. We, we accept that as that, that's just the way it is. So humans kill other, a million other people a year in auto accidents. Computers are a lot, are a lot safer and smarter in, on driving on highways. But once we start to surrender these things, well, if, if we thought we were pretty good drivers. We thought we were pretty good this and that. And so we're constantly having to revise what we think humans are, are, are about, what we're good for. And more importantly, as we get into the genetic engineering aspects and other things, we are going to, to, to remake ourselves. And so the question is not really what, what are humans good for, but what do we want to be? What do we want humans to be? Where do we want to go? And I think, I think you, we wrestle with this individually, personally. What do I, where do I want to go? Where, what am I here for? But we also, um, that was always a difficult thing to ask, but we didn't, we didn't have to ask the same question about our own entire species, but now we're having to ask, ask it collectively, which makes answering it individually even more difficult. So I think this uh, issue of like identity, who we are, who we want to be, where we want to go, is really kind of underlying us. Uh, there's a subconscious identity crisis, an ongoing identity crisis that we don't know why we're here, what it's for, where we're going, either individually or as uh, collectively. And I think looking ahead, it becomes ever more and more difficult and important to do, to try to answer those questions. And so um, I, I, I think there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you're saying that, that, that it's almost like what we don't want to be. And in fact, this is, this is true. There are so many technological choices that we have right now that more often people are defining themselves not by the technology that they use, but by the technology that they don't use. And we have the great example of the Amish, who are defined by what they don't use. And other people's, you know, vegetarians, I don't eat this. So, so you, you're sort of carving your, your persona almost by the things that you're not doing because there's so many things to choose from that just trying to define yourself by what you do use doesn't really mean very much. And, 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 I, and I do think, I hear that a little bit more and more about people who kind of are known for or are in some ways defining their person by what they don't do. In the back. One more, okay, your last one there. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I think the purpose of the clock is to sort of represent an icon to actually have us, to remind us to think about um, long term problems like starvation or poverty. Um, uh, I, 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 I believe that, that technology brings us increasing choices and possibilities, and we have. Let me put it this way. Everybody here is a little bit different face, a little bit different mix of, of abilities and talents, but we all require technologies in some sort to, to ha help us express those abilities and talents. And so Mozart needed his harpsichord and piano. Um, you know, Lucas and Hitchcock needed uh, film technology. Um, but imagine if Mozart had been born a thousand years before the harpsichord or piano was invented, what a, what a loss it would have been to him and to us. Or if Hitchcock and Lucas had been, been born a thousand years before we invented cinema technology, what a loss to the world and to us they would have been. Therefore, there are people alive today, some young boy or girl out in the world, who is the Shakespeare of this generation who's waiting for us to invent their technology. So we, in a certain sense, have an obligation to invent these things so that the possibility of everybody in the world could blossom and, and be shared. That, that, that invention includes, of course, delivering old technologies like clean water and food and education to everybody in the world so that every person has at least the potential to, to find and be able to express their genius. And so therefore, I think there's a moral obligation that we have to increase the amount of good technology in the world to bring it to everybody. And um, that, that remains 
at, I think, the core of civilization, which is to increase those choices and possibilities. That's what we're about. And, and I think the clock, even though it's not directly uh, dealing with that, is, is a reminder for us to take that kind of long-term view about bringing the possibilities and choices that technology brings to everybody here to help us all be creative. So I, I really appreciate your, your time and attention. Um, it was great to be here, and um, I guess um, yeah. thanks again. Thank you yeah. very much. Sure.